Alright, I'm going to try to make this video quick so I'm not droning on. Um, basically, this isn't going to be me doing what I usually do. This is going to be a serious moment. Um, I'm going to talk about the bill that I'm sure at least some of you have heard about. Um, it's called S978. I believe it's called S978. Right? I got the numbers right. Yeah, I did. S978. This is a bill in Congress that is seeking to amend the current copyright infringement laws. You know, the penalties for copyright infringement. Um, now, first things first, if you want to actually look this up, I'm hoping you want to, after all this, you want to look this up and educate yourself on it, at least a little bit, so you know, you know, like what I say is true. You shouldn't ever take anybody's word on, you know, what they say. You should, you should educate yourself. Um, and then I'll post a few links, um, two links actually. I'll post one to articles well, one article, the latest article that Ultra David has written on shoreyukin.com. Um, the reason why I'm posting this article is because Ultra David is actually a lawyer that is part of the fighting game community. Some of you may know him. He does a lot of commentary for Southern California streams. Um, and he's an actual lawyer, so he understands, you know, the law, um, all the law spiel stuff far more than I do. And it's a, I mean, at least it's a good read. It simplifies things for people that, again, if you don't really know much about law, making law, amendments, all that kind of stuff, the wording they use, this is a good thing to read. And then after that, I'll also post you to a website. I'll link you to a website that is an easy way to send out your complaint that this bill is wrong, that this bill is too broad of a definition and it needs to be specified. And all you have to do is enter your name, your email, your address, and your zip code, and then it sends out a letter. You can also type more into the letterbox if you want to, if you want to get more specific. And as far as I understand it, it sends it to, because it's asking for your address and your zip code, so that it can send it to the correct government representative. So it sends it to your personal representative. It doesn't just send it to like the White House with a bunch of signatures attached or some bullshit. It actually sends it to your government, your personal government representative um, that, you know, is in control of your your area. So now what this is going to do, um, first I'll get into the backstory of, well not the backstory, I will tell you of how current copyright law works. Um, Right now, it's handled in civil cases. Now, what that means is that, number one, and this is most important, this is the most important distinction that you'll have to recognize later on, is that only the company that owns the actual copyright can pursue legal action. I'm trying to, I'm trying to speak smart, uh, smart here. Can pursue legal action against the person that has posted the copyright, um, the copyrighted material. And so basically, let's just say, since I've been posting a lot of Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Capcom would have to come to me and, like, send me first a cease and desist order, you know, like, saying, stop posting our videos, take the videos you posted down, we don't want those up, we want them gone, get rid of them. And then, if I didn't do any of that, if I ignored it, then they could pursue further legal action, and which would basically end in them suing me, and either, you know, me settling or me trying to fight it, whatever, and I would have to pay them a fine. And that's the end of it. I just have to pay them a fine. That's it. Over and done with. What this um, bill seeks to amend, what this thing wants to do, is it wants to change copyright infringement from civil cases to criminal cases. It to, oh, for, well, from a civil penalty, I guess. A civil breach of law to a criminal breach of law. I don't really... I, I don't know. Um, now, what the implications of this is that the main distinction, like I said, is that not only can the company themselves come after you, the government can come after you now. The government can say, hey, that's copyrighted material, even though Capcom's over there saying, hey, we actually kind of like his videos. We love this Nate Aristotle dude. That don't matter. We're throwing your ass in jail. That is the second biggest distinction. If it's considered a criminal offense... You can get jail time of up to five years for a, for a copyright infringement now, rather than just a fine. It, it would be potential jail time plus a fine. 
that's the biggest part is just the massive leap in penalty. Now, the reasoning behind this bill, the main reason behind this bill, I agree with. Don't get me wrong, I think it's a good motive that they have behind this bill. It's just that the people that wrote this bill and the people that are potentially voting on this bill are ignorant to the overall implications and do not understand that the wording they have is too broad and affects far more than what they want it to be for. And what I believe they want it to be for is the illegal streaming of like movies and videos, that kind of a thing. The illegal streaming of stuff like pay-per-view events, you know, like UFC events, boxing events, like WWE events, that kind of thing. And that's it. They don't want to harm, you know, websites like YouTube, but it would because it just says copyright infringement. Now, if you don't really understand copyright, basically anything that you have, I would bet is copyrighted by somebody. Books, games, um, videos, controllers, like all this shit is probably a copyrighted work. Actually, I guess copy. That, actually, I'm trying. I'm kind of mixing up copyrights and patents. But copyrights basically would cut. I know they would cover movies, games, books, music, and those are all. Well, besides books, those are all big on YouTube. And um, what this would allow is for the government to pursue you. With even though the company may be the company that owns the copyright may be fine with it, and you would have to get a license to actually post up videos of this copyrighted content um, from the company that owns the copyright. They would have to give you a license specifically allowing you to post up videos. And so what this basically means is that my videos, they would now be deemed illegal and I could be thrown into jail for them. People that just post up their own covers of somebody else's music, because it's technically their music, you know, it's their beat, it's their words, they could be thrown into jail for doing that, for posting a cover of a music video. Um, you know, just some, some, uh, anybody else that does, that puts up footage of games, you know, game playthroughs, playing games online, whatever. They could be thrown into jail if they don't get a license for it. Um, and the reason that so many people are trying to fight this bill is just that Congress doesn't understand that. They don't understand how much of the internet this would affect. They don't get it. Because they don't really know about it. And so, because that's, you know, game companies, this is why you don't see, technically, right now, game companies do have the power to pursue civil cases against, like, somebody like me. They have the power to do that. First, they would have to send me a cease and desist order to, you know, again, take down all my videos and whatnot. And then, they have the power to do that right now. The reason they don't is that these game companies understand this is a good thing for them. They understand that videos, they get views, they get people to see a game, and then it won't, obviously, not everybody that sees the video is going to go out and buy the game immediately. And not everybody that goes out and buys the game is going to buy the game new and actually give the company money. But people will, some people will inevitably see it, go, oh, hey, I like the look of that. I'm going to go out and buy it and get the company more money. The game companies understand this. They understand that their two, three-minute trailers cannot do their entire game justice, yet game playthroughs can. And they'll, and people will see that and think, oh, well, actually, I like this, because, you know, games, they're not, they're not the same if they're not experienced. It's not the same as a movie, where it's just, you know, you watch it in the theater, you watch it on your TV, you watch it on your computer. That's just, hey, that's... I saw it. You know, it's not going to be any different anywhere else. Games are experience. You don't get the same emotional investment out of just watching it on YouTube as you do playing it yourself. Um, and game companies do understand this. They, I think, from what I understand, they were kind of hesitant about it at the beginning. But now that they under, now they understand, they can't do spend the time to go out and stream all these things that people stream now. They don't. They can't go out and post up playthroughs on YouTube, they gotta take the time to do that. They're busy making other games for people to enjoy, to make money off of. And 
they understand that overall, people posting up footage of their games is a great thing for them because it draws more people into their products. It's good. It makes them money overall. But Congress doesn't understand that. They don't have um, the knowledge that allows them to see, you know, all the things this would hit. They don't really... I mean, if you think, you know, somebody... I guarantee you, I mean, I would be willing to bet that most, the majority of the Congress members that would vote on this bill are unaware of what Ustream is, are not aware of what Justin.tv is. They're not aware of what, you know, game streaming is. They may understand YouTube. You're like, oh, YouTube's that thing you watch videos on. Yeah, sure. But do you know how many videos are posted on it? Do you know how many various kinds of videos are posted on it? All that shit? They don't have that knowledge. And so basically this bill is potentially going to get passed through in ignorance of that. And then, you know, you may after that, well, not you may, I'm sure there'll be more legal battles after this of people trying to get the bill changed to be more specific, but there's still going to be that period of time where the bill is not specific and people are just getting butt-fucked over this by stupid technicalities that were not intended but end up being there because the Congress members just aren't educated enough on this matter and that's why I think you should all go to this website that allows you to send in the thing saying please please educate yourself on this understand that this has far more implications than you're aware of and that you should amend this bill in its current form to be far more specific to actually hit at problems and not things that even the game companies themselves are like yeah you know whatever no biggie so I'm hoping that's what. So I'm hoping this video makes some of you, um, you know, go look into that. To personally, you know, hopefully, I'm hoping the majority of you will go to the website that I link you to and actually send the people this shit. Um, and you know, educate yourselves on this, because that's the biggest problem I think with things like this is just that when you try to get into technological aspects of life the, the congress members are just so far behind the general public and they don't understand you know like they if you think a congress member understands what an xbox is the you know the normal the average congress member understand you know if they can say you're like oh hey what's an xbox 360 and i'll be like what the fuck is that i don't know what's a wii what's a playstation all that kind of shit i guarantee you most of them wouldn't know this kind of stuff and they need to be made aware of what they are voting on. It's the same exact thing as like just the general citizenship. That you need to be aware of what you're voting on. You should educate yourself on what you're voting on before you vote on it. Otherwise, there may end up being some issues over it that you're like, wow, I didn't see that coming. And it's because you didn't educate yourself on them. And that's what's going to happen with this bill. Because they don't understand what they're voting on. They just think... That, oh, Hollywood's really, Hollywood really wants to push this through because people streaming their videos for free is a big problem. And I'm like, yeah, that is, that is a pretty big problem. Let's pass it on through. Good idea. And they don't understand how much else it affects. So, I have rambled on for long enough. I hope you will go and check out some of the links I give you. That you will learn about it yourselves and not, you know, just... Because I, I, who knows, I may have gotten something wrong. I'm pretty damn tired right now. I probably said plenty of shit wrong. But, um... I'm just hoping, because, again, this will affect a lot of people. This will affect a ton of people. And it's not just the people that post videos. It's people like you that enjoy watching these videos. And want to, um... Continue watching videos like this. Because I'm sure as hell not going to risk going to jail over posting videos on YouTube. I mean, I, I have no problem doing it. It's not like it's any skin off my back recording some shit and putting commentary up. I enjoy it. And I hope you enjoy watching it. But I'm not willing to go to jail over it. That's for damn sure. I'm not willing to pay money, people money. You know, get fined over it. Hell no. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to do that. There's no way in hell. So, if you enjoy this and you want to see this continue, then you should go and make your opinion heard, make your opinion known that you do not want this going through because they don't know what the fuck they're voting on.
Um, so yeah, please go check that out. Uh, it doesn't it's, it doesn't take long to read Ultra David's article. It's not a very long article overall. It looks long due to there being like seven billion comments on it, but it's really it's really not. Um, so I'd hope you'd at least read that a little bit if you don't believe me, because he's certainly far more experienced on the matter than I am. But again, I'm just really hoping that you are willing to check this out, that you're willing to follow this up, that you are willing to make your opinion heard, make your opinion known that this should not be changed because it will change the livelihoods of a lot of people. I mean, you know, me, I don't make money off of this. But the, I'm sure, you know, like, Spooky, I'm willing to, I don't even know if he has another job, but I'm willing to bet with how much he streams, how busy he is, that, he doesn't, that his job is the streaming. That the money he makes from streaming is his livelihood. So, I mean, they, uh, you know, again, I've, I've rambled on for long enough. I rambled on for like an extra two minutes after I said I've rambled on enough. So, I am done. Hopefully, um, again, you will follow this up. I cannot stress the importance of that enough because I really do not want this bill to be passed. I enjoy watching streams. I mean, even if I can't put up videos, I'd still like to watch streams, but I wouldn't be able to do that. Because there's nobody that I know that would be willing to risk jail time or putting a video up on YouTube. Or putting up a video on Ustream. Um, so other than that, uh, I guess I can do a quick update on me. I should be starting work. I know I'm doing something tomorrow. I don't know what. Um, <laughs> I know that's great. But they said, you know, like we're going to have you, once we get the results of your drug test in, we're going to go and give you some more training and this time you'll actually be paid for it so I should be starting to get paid this week so hopefully it won't be much longer before I can get a stick and get everything rolling and start having fun again and then just it'll be just my luck this bill will get passed right when the stick is delivered to me I'll read on the internet that this bill was passed and I can no longer post videos just my luck that's that's what'll happen <laughs> god damn it all right so anyway Nader Stata out go follow this shit up be a good person. And, 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 yeah, do stuff.